Hey guys, I'm the math professor, Kyle Martin. In this video, we're gonna talk about inverses. But just a quick reminder before we do, in the description below, I have a website that has free organized math videos. All right, if you find this one helpful here in a couple seconds, maybe take that and give it a click. Um, you might find some of those videos helpful as well. Also, I make YouTube playlists that's uh, organized by class, so by algebra, algebra one, Algebra 2, college algebra, right? Geometry. I have all sorts of playlists that you might find helpful. Um, again, my channel link is below. Give it a click. But let's get into this video. So in this problem, we need to find the inverse of both f of x for my first problem and g of x for my second problem. Just a quick reminder, we have some steps when we find the inverse. We're going to first change our f of x to be y. We're going to switch our x and our y. Then lastly, we're going to solve for y. And what that equals is going to be my inverse function. Okay, so let's try it. Uh, we have f of x for this first one equals 3x plus 4. So first off, I'm going to switch my f of x to be y equals 3x plus 4. Switch my x and y. So now x equals 3y plus 4. They just switch spots. And I have to solve for y. Subtract 4 on both sides. x minus 4 equals 3y. Divide by 3 on both sides. And y equals just x minus 4 all over 3. Okay, now remember, it's not y anymore, it's going to be the inverse of f. So instead of y, I'm going to say it'd be f inverse of x equals x minus 4 over 3. Let's try it with g. g of x equals x over 4 plus 2. So for this one, I'm going to switch my g of x to be y, write down the rest, okay? And then switch the x and the y, switch their places. So x equals y over 4 plus 2. And then let's see, I better subtract 2 on both sides. So now x, oops, x minus 2 equals y over 4. And then lastly on this one, better multiply by 4. Let's see, this is a quantity, so I better distribute the 4 in. When I do that over here, this is actually 4x minus 8. Those cancel equal y. But again, not y. Now it's the inverse of g. So we write that with g, a little negative 1. That means inverse. G, uh, the inverse of g of x is 4x minus 8. So we have successfully found the inverse of both f of x and g of x for these two functions. Also, I have organized math uh, YouTube. Uh, I can't talk. So I'm going to start over.